Hi everyone, it's Milos and thanks so much for watching Music News. Okay, Milos, great to see you again, how are you doing? Very good to see you too, Marco, very good. Thank you very much. The last time I saw you was at Abbey Road and you were recovering from a tendon injury. How, how is, uh, how's the hand? Well, it's been very good. Uh, I have now played big concertos in yeah. Norway and continuing my tour in Germany next week so it's it's all been very good yeah yeah sometimes when these things happen it's it's quite good it gives you a different perspective absolutely I like the way you put the analogy the last time um, well when you played at Abbey Road fantastic by the way um, that you know sportsmen are always talking about their injuries but yeah. you know musicians can't and uh, it's so true I mean that's it's very true and I think it's quite unfair uh, yeah. that's why I wanted to talk about it because I felt like you know I've I play so many concerts everywhere and I give so much every night and you know when body says it's enough it's enough and there is no shame in it. Absolutely no no mm. but anyway you played a couple of songs there and they were from Blackbird the new Beatles uh, yes. album which sounded absolutely brilliant and at Abbey Road as well it was very special for us to be there yeah. how was it for you? Amazing uh, because for this project there couldn't have been a better place. It is the creative hub of the Beatles. It is where all the music, almost all the music, uh, was made. Um, and to just have this amazing opportunity to take uh, that inspiration and bring it to to your instrument and and give it a slightly different voice was really a dream come true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you recorded the album there on stu it's in Studio Two on original yes. mics and stuff that the Beatles used. Could you could you feel their presence? Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, I could also feel the presence of a lot of other people and, and guests and collaborators and, and you know all these microphones and the combination of the old and the new and um, just working on the sound. I, I felt that it was so important to get the sound right and, and, and Jonathan Allen and I, we, we were just, we got on like a house on fire. It was so, so amazing to, to be involved with this project. Yeah, no, it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, presumably arriving at the, the final 15 must have been quite difficult. How did it was. you select it? The final 15 songs, uh, uh, it, was, it was a very organic progression and I was listening to a lot of Beatles songs and the ones I liked and the ones I knew would work on the guitar and then there were some which were a little bit too complex and I knew that they wouldn't naturally fit the instrument. Um, but. Um, I just took it one by one. I, I tried things around with Sergio, and 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 we we came to the to the decisions together. Um, and then once we were in the studio, it's amazing how much the songs were changing within the time frame we had in the studio. It's almost as if when you come to the studio, then it all makes sense, uh, because um, and that's where the atmosphere of the place comes in. It's just you suddenly start having other ideas, and and and. Uh, and I uh, implementing them and and trying them out without any fear of failure and and uh, there is nothing nicer for a musician than when you feel that freedom when you just kind of uh, ex expose yourself and you just you just go for it um, and that's exactly what what I did on this album and and that's why I'm I'm really really happy with it yeah, no, it sounded excellent. I mean, you worked with Sorry Amos, Anushka Shankar, Gregory Porter. Mm. What, what's your most treasured moment amongst those sessions? It would be hard to pick a treasured moment because uh, with each song there was so much uh, discussion and so much uh, care and love that went into it. And I mean, people often ask me what's your favorite track. It really, really is impossible. Uh, I mean, as a solo classical guitar track maybe while my guitar gently weeps is my favorite track because it somehow feels incredibly idiomatic and 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 emotional and it just speaks my language um, then from the orchestral tracks full on the hill is my absolute favorite uh, because i just love that song so much uh, uh, come together is, is 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 special because it's quite jazzy and improv in, improvisatory and 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 quite uh, uh, quite out there in a in a more dirty, edgy, grungy way, uh, and and that's a new sound for me. Um, and you know, the Gregory track is magical because it's just so simple and it just takes the song and it. That's it. Uh, it. With each track, there is 
there is a story and it's very hard to, to, to pick, pick one uh, against the other. It's like if you ask a mother who is her favorite child, it's like, that, that's, it's not possible to answer. <laughs> uh, true, yeah. true. When I mean, you mentioned at the Abbey Road session um, that you left a demo for Paul McCartney years ago mm. and never heard back. H have you met him since, since recording this album? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, and uh, I did leave a demo, it was at the time when I was a student yeah, yeah. Um, and I was really trying to make it and I read that he was making this guitar concerto and the angle of the article was that at the time there were no uh, classical guitarists uh, out there who had a really high profile so I was like yeah it's my chance, <laughs> I have to uh, get my demo into his hands and and, and I just went to his house and I and I um, left it, put it through the letterbox and, and just hoped he would ring, but he didn't. Um, and it's fine, uh, but I would really love him to hear this one because I think he, will, he, he would enjoy it. It's, um, the whole point of this album was to take the Beatles for what they are and they are amazing. Uh, and, and the fact that uh, this project worked artistically so well also uh, proves how great they were uh, because it's the uh, their music proves the point that music is universal language of the world and that it that it's uh, that all music is just music and there is good music and when it's good everyone can relate to it uh, being obsessed with genre or of being classical or not classical or, 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 or being this artist on that artist, I think that's a waste of time. I think we are all here just to make music and and, and uh, that's the bottom line. True, true. Has, have you given him this album? Has it been sent the album? I think so. I think so. Let's see what happens. Yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, the album is a departure from your previous sort of more classically based mm. albums. What triggered the change and um, can we expect more of the same? Well, um, I just follow really my, my, my gut feeling into the fact that uh, after the three albums of very core classical guitar heritage, it was time to, to try something that would um, challenge me in an artistic sense, um, in a way that uh, I cannot quite predict because I know how to play the classical repertoire. If I was going into the studio to record the Bach album, I know how to play Bach, but I didn't know how to play Beatles. And, and, uh, but I was open to learn and, and I wanted this uh, whole thing to be a vehicle for me to collaborate and to be open and to experiment and to, to take my music to not just the classical world, but to, 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 make, a depart to make a round around all the other uh, genres of world music and jazz and 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 very very core classical to to, to very very popular sound um, and uh, and to feel the breadth of possibilities uh, and and to 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 have um, this extraordinary music as a vehicle to do that was 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 really the best thing I have ever done uh, and and that surprises me. Uh, and I love when I'm surprised, uh, I, 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 because I'm such a control freak. So when something happens that I didn't expect, it's almost double pleasure for me. Uh, and, uh, and it was the case uh, with the Blackbird, really was. Excellent. I mean, if you had to choose a couple of other popular artists that you'd like to do a similar... I don't, I don't know actually, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the Beatles are very unique because they are classic and, and their music stood the test of time for, I mean all these songs were written 50 odd years ago and, and in a way that's not much different from the classical music itself. Uh, also the guitar is the glue which holds all those songs yeah. together, it's, uh, the, the, the language of the guitar is most naturally suited to the music of the Beatles and it's not a novel thing to play the Beatles on the guitar, it's just that I did it from scratch, but still, you know. Um, and um, so I don't know if, if, there, if, if there are other uh, musicians uh, as such that, I would, that would, I would immediately scream around and say, oh yes, my next album is going to be, I don't know, ABBA. No, uh, I love ABBA, I love Rolling Stones, I love um, uh, U2, I love Muse, I love all these people. It's like, uh, 
That's not how it works. Uh, a seed of an idea is usually born out of something which is completely unpredictable. Um, but I know very clearly what my next project is, um, and it's uh, um, uh, and and working on the Beatles has changed my approach to what my next project should be like. Uh, I uh, realized that uh, recording pieces of classical repertoire which have been recorded many many times and which already exist in so many different versions is for this day and age of streaming and 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 the lack of physical uh, CDs and and uh, and in this changing world and this uh, uh, speed with which people uh, uh, take information in I mean it's enough to just go into your news feed on Facebook and you are immediately over overloaded with information so uh, the trick is to find new repertoire and new things and something which hasn't been heard before and something which uh, you can discover and be at the forefront of um, and my next project will definitely continue in that direction well, what is the next project i would not say to save <laughs> your life no ah. no 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 because we have a lot uh, <laughs> in front of us with the beatles but you know i'm always thinking ahead and and uh, i know my next one and my next one and probably <laughs> the one after that Great. it's only natural uh, yeah yeah sure yeah. but it's, it's clearly going well I was in Sainsbury's the other day and you were staring at oh me. really yeah is it in Sainsbury's no, my god from wow the cover of the BBC that's magazine good. that's <laughs> good that's good that's good that's good I mean do you feel that you're reaching a new audience these days I hope I mean I just I just like what I do and and and, and I hope that many people w will join me on that uh, I uh, play the guitar which is the instrument of people uh, it's the most popular instrument in the world and um, I think I play some really nice music so I I would like to share that as much as possible definitely I mean Andrew Lloyd Webber is a big fan would you look yeah, at I love him. a lot of his his works maybe well he's a genius I mean he's, he's uh, when you listen to his musicals they were so cutting edge and and at the time and and He's a very special musician and I've collaborated with him already and, yeah. and, and really enjoyed that a lot. So um, I just sometimes wish that I can clone myself and, and, <laughs> and, and, and do all these things. Um, but I always know the right thing and, and, and with the Beatles I knew it was the right thing to do. But I didn't come to that uh, conclusion immediately. It took some time and it took a lot of listening. Um, and and when I decided to do it, I said, OK, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it on my terms, on my time, with the people that I love to work with. And I did. Uh, and that's why I'm uh, always excited to listen to this album, even though I don't often listen to my own albums. But uh, when I listen to this one, it's almost like I'm hearing a different Milos, and I like it. Uh, it's like. It's my, it's the person behind the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like an alter ego or something like that. Excellent. Well, you did the, obviously made the right choice. It's getting critically acclaimed, and uh, you know it's doing very well. Um, on, on a sideline, you know, you're, you're patron of uh, the Mayor of London's Fund for Young Musicians. Who should we be looking out for? The upcoming, uh, the the new. There is a lot of there is a lot of young talent out there, and I think there is more good classical guitar playing and guitar playing in general now than there has ever been. I think there, in the last uh, couple of years, we have uh, uh, changed a lot about how people perceive the instrument and its repertoire, and and that's to the benefit not just of myself, but to the benefit of absolutely everyone who is serious about this instrument. Um, and the future is in young people and when I was young I was helped by a lot of people I was uh, s and without their support I wouldn't be where I am today so uh, whenever I can and which in whichever way I have that is realistic and possible I am there to help uh, so that's why I'm involved with these charities and that's why I will continue continue to be involved uh, as long as I as I can because I think it's very important 
Fantastic. Um, yeah. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. you. If um, if you for somebody getting into Milos and your music for the first time, what, what three tracks would you say? Oh, on uh, the Beatles album. On from the whole repertoire, would you say? Right. You know, these sort of sum me up. I think from Mediterranean they should hear my Asturias because that was the very first piece of classical guitar that I fell in love with and that's why it's the first track on my first album. Then I would love them to hear my Concerto de Aranjuez yeah. by Rodrigo because that's one of the most beautiful pieces of the classical guitar, of the classical music repertoire in general and it's a real milestone in any guitarist's life. And now from the Beatles album, I would love them to hear... Tricky one. <laughs> Any one of the tracks. Uh, let's say, Come Together. Fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for Thank your time. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>